Hello, this tutorial will help you to understand the settings of the text tool. You should open up your software and follow along with me. The features demonstrated will be almost identical in Anime Studio and Moho. There are a couple of different ways to use the text tool in the software. First off, let's start out with a new blank file. Look in the Tools menu on the left. Underneath the word Layer, you'll see a small T. Click on that, and the Insert Text dialog box pops up. Here is the field where you can enter text. Below, you'll see Fill Color, and you can add stroke or leave that off. You can also change stroke width. Over here, you can select different fonts. One important setting is whether or not you choose to create a text layer. Let's click on this box right now and click OK. You'll see now in the Layers palette that this layer has a T icon in front of the words that I typed. When you create a text layer like this, you can double click on it, go back in, and even change the text. You can also change the font. You can change the fill color. There's just all kinds of editing you can do. Let me click OK. You can change the size. You can rotate. And you can animate it along the timeline. Now click on that layer below that text layer and then go back over to the Tools menu and click on the T again. This time, let's put a different word. And I think I'll change the color. Down here, instead of Create Text Layer, uncheck that and Create One Shape. Click OK. Now let me hide this first Hello layer so that we can see this one. There's a pretty big difference here. When we did it this way, we actually set up a vector layer. This is not a text layer that we can double click on and then change the word. We can't get back into that menu anymore. Whatever we did here, we're pretty much stuck with in terms of the word. We can still change the size. We can still rotate. We can still edit it along the timeline. But changing things like color, we would have to go about in a different way. We'd need to go over underneath Fill in the Tools menu. We'd have to click on Select Shape. We would have to click on it just like we do any other shape. And we can change the fill here. We can add stroke. We can change the stroke width. But now we're doing it just like we would with any other type of shape. Now I'm going to delete the goodbye layer, clicking on the trash can. I'm going to leave hello hidden for now. And let me go up to create new layer and choose vector. I'd like to show you one more thing. Go over to the Tools menu again and click on the T. Now we're going to put another word in here. Let's uncheck the Create One Shape. Be sure Create Text Layer is the one that's checked. And look down here under Select Word Balloon Type. And I'll click on this and I'll choose one of these. Now I'd like to point out right now that depending on how good your computer is, sometimes everything in this text box will really slow down the software. And I've even noticed that it can freeze up the program if you don't have a very good computer. Take your time when you're working inside this Insert Text dialog box. If you make changes and it seems like your computer is not responding very quickly, take your time. Also with this uh, balloon option, this for some reason seems to be the worst of it. 
if you are really having problems, if the software freezes up on you when you try to include a balloon, then just avoid it. You can always do balloons a different way if you really want them. It's just a little bit more tedious because you'd have to create them on a separate layer. Regardless, I just wanted to point out that you have a number of settings here as well. As you'll see in this box here, there are a bunch of settings for how your balloon can look. Over here to the right of that, there are a lot more other balloon settings. You've got fill, color, stroke, even stroke width. You've got the size relative to text. You can see what that does right here. You can change it to flip, vertical, horizontal. If I uncheck constrained proportions, you saw what change that made right here. So you can just play around with all of these settings. If you do choose the balloon option, you'll probably need to go back in and make sure that you have these selected the way that you wanted to. For some reason, and it must be a bug in the program, that if you choose something here, it seems to change what is checked between create one shape and create text layer. So be aware of that if you do play around with all of uh, these settings down here. Look back up here again. And be sure that you have checked what you wanted. And I'm going to click OK right now. So I created another editable text layer, which means when I see the T, I can double click. I can go in and I can change a number of those settings. One thing I can't change is whether or not it's going to be an editable text layer or more of a vector type layer. You can see that's missing now from this menu. So that can't change. Now it's going to stay just like this. I'll click OK again. Of course, same rules apply. You can still rotate, you can still scale, and you can still animate the text along the timeline just like you do any other object. There are still a few different things you can do to set up text in this program, but I wanted to keep this tutorial relatively short, so I'm going to stop now, and I think this will be enough so that you'll be able to work with text for the next assignment.